Hello and welcome back to this video series on global health. My name is Greg Martin and in this episode we're going to talk about consulting work in the global health space. At the end of this video I'm going to tell you a little bit about a Google Plus community that I've just started and hopefully this is going to be a platform on which people looking for consulting work and people looking for consultants can get connected. So stay tuned. Now in my previous videos on working in global health and if you haven't watched them you can go to the YouTube channel and have a look. I talked a lot about the fact that one of the easiest ways to get yourself known within organizations that work in global health and to get experience in the areas you're interested in is to do consulting work. So we're going to talk a little bit about my experience and the do's and don'ts about finding work in, cons in consulting in the global health space. So questions that you're going to be asking is how do I find consulting work? Uh, where do I go? Who do I speak to? Who do I send my CV out to? How do I get my foot in the door? Well, these are questions we're going to try and answer in the next couple of minutes. Now to start, I'm going to suggest that you put together a one-page CV. Not two pages, not one and a half pages, nothing about how you were the chairperson of the Astronomy Club or you have a delightful interest in 20th century poetry. Just one page that has, one, your contact details. Number two, a sentence, not a paragraph, stating that you're available to do consulting work. Number three, your education and background. And number four, your experience. Nothing else. Keep it simple, keep it to the point. The reason that I'm suggesting that you put together a one pager is you want people to read it. Every additional page you add decreases the proportion of people that are going to read the entire thing. Now this is different from a CV that you'd send off to a job application. That's going to be read by HR professionals. This document, you're going to email it far and wide in the hope that the recipients actually read it and forward it on to other people that may be looking for consultants. But what about all of my impressive publications, I hear you say. Surely they should go into this one page CV. My advice is no, be brutal, keep it short, keep it to the point. If you want people to read this, it's got to be short and to the point. Perhaps at the end of the CV, include a line saying that they can reach out to you for a list of your publications or perhaps for contact details of referees, etc. Next, let's talk about the different contexts in which consulting work gets done. Firstly, there's the individual consultant, and he gets brought into a project at a particular point in time because a little additional horsepower is needed temporarily on, on, on a project of some description. Some examples might include proposal writing, data analysis, or producing a report for a funder. Another example is organizations like the WHO, UNICEF, other UN agencies often need consultants to come in as a rapporteur to take notes and draft summaries of discussions and decisions taken at meetings and conferences. Now, this isn't the most exciting work, but it's a great way to meet the right people, to create a good impression, and it could be a stepping stone to either more consulting work or maybe even a permanent job. And next, as an individual, you could offer yourself as a technical expert. So for example, when the WHO are putting together a new set of guidelines, they'll create a panel of experts to provide advice and expertise as to the content of those guidelines. For this kind of work, you really do need to be an expert. And so this is an example when you wouldn't really just send a one-page CV. You want to include your publications in that kind of application. Something else that you might want to think about is forming a coalition of independent consultants or a group or maybe even setting up a company that allows you to put combined bids in for consulting jobs that are bigger than can be done by just one individual. So for example, funding agencies like DFID, Unitaid, the Gates Foundation, USAID, they often want their projects, the projects that they fund, evaluated by independent groups, both at the midpoint and at the end point of projects. These evaluations are big jobs and they couldn't really be done by just one person. Now another option would be to apply for a job at a company that already does consulting work in the global health space. So there's a lot of companies that specialize in public health consulting. Uh, Rab and Martin, for example, based in New York, they do strategy consulting. There's also a lot of companies that have a broad consulting practice, and part of that practice will include global health. Companies like uh, McKinsey and Company, Bain and Company, the Boston Consulting Group, Deloitte's PwC, the list goes on and on. It's a great way to get experience and you'll certainly learn a lot while you work for them. Now getting the first job, that's the most difficult. Once you've done some work as a consultant, people in the field will get to know you and you'll probably find there's more work out there than you can actually manage. Now this is important because you might want to reach out to other people doing global health consulting work in the hope that they'll pass work on to you or they'll pass your name on to clients when they get offered work that they can't take on because they're too busy. While I was doing consulting work, I'd often get offered additional work that I couldn't take on and I would pass it on to other people. So what are the next steps? What are the practical things you can do? Well, the first thing is you get that one page CV out to everybody that you can and make it an attachment to a short email. The email should include mention the fact that you're available to do consulting work in the field that you feel that you're comfortable to add value. 
Number two, highlight the fact that you've attached a one-page CV. They might be more inclined to read it if they know that it's a quick read. Number three, ask them to contact you if they have any work and state that you're prepared to travel if needs be. Number four, ask them to keep your CV on file. They may not have work for you right now, but they may have down the line. And number five, ask them to forward your CV on to anyone else that they know that might be looking for a consultant. The next thing you need to do is you need to go to the web pages of organizations that you're interested in doing work for. Many of them have databases of consultants and they draw from these databases and you can register your availability on those databases. And many of them also publicly advertise the need for consultants so you can submit a tender for a particular piece of work. One or two pieces of advice. Firstly, don't oversell and under deliver. You'll get a bad reputation and you're not gonna enjoy doing the work. Be patient and get work that's appropriate for your skill level. You'll like doing it and people will like working with you. Another piece of advice. Keep rigorous timesheets of what you did, the time you put in, and definitive deliverables. You don't want to get into a rough and tumble about who did what when when it comes to getting paid. And remember to invoice your clients. If you don't, you won't get paid and that will make you sad. Remember, life is admin, it's sad, but it's true. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this useful. Remember, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel and get an email alert whenever there's a new video posted. If, if you subscribe, you'll also be able to contact me directly through the About tab on the channel page. Now, about that Google Plus community that I was telling you about. This YouTube channel is connected to a Google Plus page. So if you go to the YouTube channel, you'll see a link to the Google Plus page. You can go there. On the page, you'll find another link uh, that'll take you to the community that I've set up. That's gonna be a place where I'm hoping people that are interested in finding work and people that have got job opportunities and vacancies can come together. I hope this was helpful. Until next time, thanks for listening. Keep well, don't do drugs, always do your best. Don't ever change because we love you just the way you are. Talk to you soon.